Where we are right now is the lost or refound Victorian platforms under Glasgow Central Station. These were closed in 1964 as part of Dr Beeching's Savage Cuts in Britain's Railways. I've worked in Central Station now for many years. I came across these lost tunnels about 15, 16 years ago. What we can see right now is effectively an abandoned railway station, an abandoned platform. Many years ago I came down here myself. Uh, there was no lighting at that time. Your senses became more sharpened and attuned to the noise and the rumble of the trains coming and going and the creaks and the drips. Amazing to stand in the centre of a city in such stillness and calm. The Victorian platforms first opened in 1888. This was a hub of activity. The steam engines would come through here at an almighty pace. This entire area would be covered in smoke and dirt from the engines. You still feel that the, this area resonates with the people, the hub of activity, people coming and going throughout the decades from the early 1900s through the roaring 20s, 1930s, 40s, world wars that came and gone. It's still absorbed into these walls in this very area and you can feel it to this day. I think there is a great curiosity in abandoned areas and filthy areas. We live in a world now where everything is sanitised and spotless clean and I think it's, it's great to come down to these areas. I think we're all kids at heart, we love to explore and there's not much left in this world that we can explore. Our plans within the next couple of months are to restore this area here to what it was like back in the 1890s to generate an even greater interest in this area, in the station and in the tours as well. I never realised what this building meant to the people of this city and beyond. Glasgow Central is central to the city itself. People come to me on a regular basis on the tours and they tell me their experiences. And for me, that's the most important thing that we continue the stories of the people of this city and beyond.